Hey, Sagittarius Collective, let's see what's happening for you guys in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Show me what's happening for Sagittarius Collective with regard to love. Show me strength, the ancient oak spirit. So it looks like you are being gifted with the art of strength. It looks like you may be possibly going through a situation in love um, that is going to re require you to have strength. At the bottom of the deck, I have stag spirit, which is leadership. So it looks like at this point, spirit is asking that you take the lead in this situation and that you be strong in your efforts because it looks like you may be dealing with someone who is going to need some guidance. This is card number two. Um, so you may be seeing 222 and card number 39. Um, 39 may be significant in your life. You may be 39 or the person you're dealing with may be 39. Um, someone may be born on the second of the month. Show me what is happening for Sagittarius with regard to love at this point, spirit. What's happening for Sagittarius Collective? Show me what's happening. You guys have the Empress. This is you, boss energy, all day long, standing strong and ready to rebirth something new in your life with regard to a love connection. Um, you have the High Priestess here. Spirit is saying you know that your intuition is guiding you into an area of your life that's going to bring you the most fulfillment. Um, the uh, High Priestess is the keeper of all secrets and stands behind the veil of consciousness. So. The high priestess only reveals what you need to know when you need to know it. On the empress, I have Taurus and Libra energy on the high priestess, Cancer energy, Ten of Wands. Look like you are letting go of a heavy burden with regard to love. You've carried this weight on your back for quite some time. And now you're saying it's becoming too heavy for me to continue to carry. I'm going to go ahead to lay down these burdens. The Three of Swords, there may have been a third party interfering in this connection that, uh, put a damper on this situation. It is pure agony. This is someone who is just completely too fit to be tired. They're tired of what they've experienced, what they're going through. Um, it was something that you did not expect to happen with this person. Two of Cups, it looks like you have a new opportunity coming in with a potential soulmate. This is someone who wants to work with you, share with you. This could be a same-sex relationship. It could be a business venture or it could be a love um, venture for you. Also, the Three of Cups is going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of joy. You have things that you're going to be celebrating here. Um, show me this Empress card. What's going on for Sagittarius? Clarify this Empress card for me. I have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. So it looks like with this that you may have been dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, this is someone who you were actually very, very connected to in love. The cup is wide open, which means that you guys shared back and forth a lot of love. Um, this was something that you were very, very satisfied with, very happy with. You thought you had won, that you had met the perfect partner of your life, but it looks like this person may have deceived you in some way, which means that you may have felt like this person chose another person over you or they snuck away from this connection to try to entertain a different option. Show me this high priestess for the sign of Sagittarius. Show me the high priestess. What's going on with the high priestess? The four of swords, the two of wands, and the hangman. Yeah, you're gaining enlightenment about this situation. You're going deep within and wanting to gain clarity about why this happened, how it happened. Did you allow this to happen? Did you see the red signs and did you just ignore them? You're pretty much thinking about every aspect of the situation, dissecting it because you don't want to have this failed situation in the future. You're saying, I need to get some balance about how I operate because in order for this person to bring in a third party, there was something that I missed. There was something I wasn't paying attention to. And I don't want you to beat yourself up because you're not at fault for what somebody else chooses to do in their life, especially when it comes to them trying to manipulate you. Show me the 10 of wands. Show me the 10 of wands, the five of swords, the seven of cups and the eight of pentacles. So what this is saying is, yes, you want to lay down the burdens, but you're finding it hard um, to move forward and you know, pursue these other options that you have. Um, you have been focusing on work and you're pretty much saying, I'm done with this entire dating thing. I really don't see this happening for me. This person 
devastated you. I mean, they took you completely in a different direction that you thought you would be going. You thought that this person would be your life partner. And all of a sudden now you're back out there in the dating scene trying to figure out, do I really want to step out into this again? Or do I just want to stay to myself and continue to focus on work? Um, the hangman energy is going to be Virgo energy. Show me more on the three of swords. Why the three of swords here for Sagittarius? The ace of pentacles, the page of wands, and also the Ten of Swords. So it looks like this person is someone that may be a little bit younger than you, but not guarantee. Possibly a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And if they're not a fire sign, this is someone who was very immature. This person came in and they offered you the world, okay? And when they offered you the world, um, they pretty much did everything they could to sabotage that situation with the Ten of Swords. So this is something that you just felt was completely unfair because you felt like this person took full advantage of you with Without ever, you know, even having any rhyme or reason for what they did. Show me this two of cups. What's going on with this two of cups in the future? The eight of swords, the five of wands, and the three of pentacles. So on the um, two of cups, it looks like they're, you're in your head because there's a lot of conflict coming in. This is looking like the past person is going to try to come in and revisit this situation. And it will bring you a lot of mental anxiety when you think about this situation, because all you're thinking about is in the past when you guys have fought constantly and you really want to work the situation out with this person and they want to work it out with you. But you both are worried about whether or not you're going to be able to get past this situation because there's been a lot of water um, under the bridge with the situation or a lot of situations that have happened um, that may put you at a stalemate of wanting to even consider this situation. But the three of pentacles says that you both want to try to work this situation out. Now, whether you guys are going to um, is going to be up to you. But on the outcome, I have the three of cups saying that you guys can definitely have a situation where you can make this situation work if that is what you both choose to do. Show me the three of cups for Sagittarius. I have the Hermit. Yep, go within page of cups, that apology, and the four of cups, that missed opportunity. So this person is coming in and saying, I missed an opportunity with you. Um, the hermit, they went into um, introspection and tried to gain a lot of clarity on you know, what they did and how they treated you because they truly believe that they were unfair. That's the reason for this page of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but they're not sure whether or not you're going to be willing to work this situation out. At the bottom of the deck, I have temperance. So there's a balance that needs to take place here. Show me more. Um, that's Sagittarius. Show me more for the Sagittarius Collective. You're standing in your power saying, we can balance this. We can make it work. Show me more. The Three of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. So it looks like not only will you have an opportunity to try to mend the situation um, with this fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but you also have another person here that is coming in to bring you an offer, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that is going to be stepping on the scene. So you're going to have to make a decision on what you want moving forward. Show me more about the situation. Sunglasses, watching, stalking, looking, gaslighting, and um, perception. Yeah, you still have this past person in your energy that's watching everything that's happening and they don't want to see you move forward. Um, also, twin flame. Some of you guys are in a twin flame dynamic. That would be the reason for the discord or for this person running away from this situation. Um, but it says that there's balance in union with this twin flame. So you'll have the option between a twin flame and also possibly a regular soulmate. Wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, and eternal love and butterfly. Relationship is evolving to the next level. Heal healing the inner child. So, and then here it goes at the bottom of the deck, coffee cup, meeting or conversing, savoring the moment. So it looks like you're going to have options and you're going to have an opportunity to try to work the situation out with either this past person or a new person. Show me more for Sagittarius. The will of fate, you are taking risk that could pay off, but know that there is success even in failure. So just know that even if you fail, 
prior to this situation happening, you still have won because you've learned a lot from the situation. Ascending, you are making a leap in consciousness now. Let go of anything holding you back and also find the exit. So Spirit is saying, find the exit. You are wrapping up this chapter in your life. It's time to move on gracefully now. So Spirit is encouraging you. If you decide not to work things out with this past person, then close that door and close it solid and move forward um, onto this next destination with this King of Pentacles that may be coming in. Um, let me get some tea leaves for you guys. Show me more for Sagittarius. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Spirit is saying don't be delusional and make sure that you're seeing this situation for clearly what it is because you're dealing with a immature person and it doesn't look like they have a change, but there is an ability to reconcile. February, some of you guys may have ended that situation with this person back in February. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So spirit is giving you insight with regard to this um, past person that you're dealing with or that you may be dealing with. Reconciliation, this person is going to come in and try it for sure. Anything else? Nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Yeah, you're all about family, but this person that you had in the past was very flighty and all about themselves. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. This person is hiding something. Spirit is saying, make sure that you are using your intuition that came out um, when you're talking about this person or when you're considering working things out with this person. Wishbone, a wish will be granted. So if it is your wish to be back with this person, it will be granted. And at the bottom, fire, if strong emotion, passion, love, or hate. Um, so there's love and there's possibly hate here. Sagittarius, you have a decision to make. This is what I have for you guys. I hope this brings you peace, clarity, and direction. Take care. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Book a personal reading in the description box on YouTube. And book a personal reading with me with the link in the bio on TikTok. Take care, guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.